Hello everyone, this is TailsFan109 and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda A Link To The Past! Last time, all we did was pretty much get a whole bunch of items around this area. And I'm pretty sure we've gotten about everything there is to get now, so we are going to start the next dungeon, which is the Skull Woods. Don't be fooled, though it might show the crystal here, the entire set of woods is basically the dungeon. Why? Because of this. There's multiple entrances scattered throughout the area. So you can pretty much start about anywhere. On the bright side, I never left this room, so uh... It didn't really take me anywhere else. Oh, I wanted to turn around so badly, believe me. Oh, they take so long to kill. On the bright side, I can finally get some magic back. Oh, look at the Please, I don't want to start losing all my health. Whatever. Oh, look, 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 look. I can kill him, but it'll come back. I hate wall masters. Anyways, there's a key. Okay, and if I remember, this way has a one-way door. So we have to go through this way. This is a pretty non-linear dungeon until the end. It's kind of unorthodox having all these entrances. Oh well, what's in here? A key or a map? The map. Good. Now I can show you what the dungeon looks like. Yeah, it, it's kind of a strange looking map. Although most of it's spent in one floor, so overall it is not terribly big, at least. Oh yeah, there's our nice big key chest already. We're gonna have to find the key first. Can I? No, he's too close to the wall. Oh well. Well, we gotta leave and find another way in. For some reason, I just want to try this way. This dungeon might actually take a while just due to the million entrances there are in this dungeon. And I swear that's the only reason this is gonna take a while. Oh yeah, I also um maxed out my upgrades off screen. Apparently this is as many arrows and bombs as you can carry. Okay, that was close. Is there anything in there? A heart. I kinda needed that after my stupid mistake. Compass! But now there's a million pits. On the bright side we made an enemy fall into one. Wonder how well, at least now I won't have to try to figure it out. Anyways, yeah, to the right is the dead end room. Let's not go back in there. Let's go this way. And find some more monsters. He couldn't reach us earlier, but I was getting impatient. And anyways, there's a key. That is entirely pointless. Because it's just going to bring us back to the big key room. Well, probably should have seen that coming. Oh, so there is a wall master in here. That's good to know. Okay. Yep. That was only for the compass. Okay. Oh. I'm losing my health a little too quickly. And yes, this secret room remains the exact same. Oh, there's something that brings us somewhere else. I don't have the big key yet, so I think I might be wasting my time. Eh, might as well do it now, I guess. Although the big key probably lies somewhere else. It lies somewhere else. Still, nothing wrong with opening up the pathway now. There, there's our first actual puzzle. Trying to get there. So, we're gonna have to come back to this area later. So, let's search for the big key. Uh 
Oh, I, I, that was my bad, I forgot. Okay, five hearts are lost. Probably not gonna be using sword beams for a while. Might have to use a potion too. Well, I don't want to lose m two more hearts right now. I'll go around it this time. Uh. Couldn't you drop a heart? This game never likes to give me hearts when I want them. Uh. Uh, oh, they take so many hits. Uh, please, no. Uh, useless magic. A switch. It's another one of those puzzles because the Dark World loves them. But it's very easy. <laughs> Alright, let's move this back a bit. Seen this puzzle so many times, it's not even hard anymore. There. Ugh. Might have to get out the arrows. Ugh. Oh, great, a wall master. Look, stand still so I can. Well, I killed that one. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, those are a big key. Uh, bombable wall. What's in here? I don't remember. Uh, probably magic. Yeah, magic. Go figure when I don't need it. We're gonna leave this area for now. Oh, jeez, we've actually seen many of the rooms now. Didn't realize. Okay. Backtracking. Yep, this dungeon makes you do it. I've lost enough hearts, thank you very much. I don't need to lose more because of your silly games. Hey, maybe some of these pots have hearts. <gasps> Fairy. Well. That's better than a heart. <laughs> okay, but let's be careful of mini Moldorms because for some reason they exist in the dark world. Here's our item. The you found the fire rod. This rod commands the red fire, but watch your magic meter. So yeah, you know the ice rod? Fire rod does the same thing except it shoots fire. So instead of freezing enemies, it likes to deal a bit of damage. It can kill the zombies instantly. But I want to try to save the magic because, well, not required, it is very useful against the boss. It beats using the sword. Whew. Well, now we just gotta go on to the boss area. So maybe scattered all around, but I guess overall it's still not terribly big. Is there a key in here? Anywhere at all? Yep. Now we just gotta figure out how to get through that door. It's not necessary to go in, but, uh, map completion, I want to do it. Whew. I smell s something. Something's being made in the kitchen, I think. <laughs> well, that came out of nowhere. Sorry for that random outburst. Oh. Well, it killed him and it made him fall because I'm pretty sure a pot can kill those things in one hit. That's how we get to this room. Yay. And in here we find, um... Oh yeah, this room is absolutely pointless. You just get a few items in there, but at what cost? You can still get me at the door. That's just great. All right. Let's move on to the last part of the dungeon. And not get hit. Surprisingly, one of the tougher puzzles is in the exterior part of the dungeon. Use the fire rod to burn that. Can I get magic before I go in? Useless rocks. 
Alright, so first we want to go around down here, feel our way through. Oh, jeez. Darn it! Wait, where am I? There I am. I did not want to lose that heart, and I think it would be safer just to go up here. Yes, it most certainly would. Alright there. We got a key. And now, let's just use the magic mirror to get back to the entrance, because it's quicker and safer. I think I'll keep the fire rod ready. There's only one more item slot empty. It'll be a while before we actually fill it, though. Okay. Oh, good. Oh, I was expecting an enemy I could hurt. Oh, yeah, here's a nice little maze. It's not really a puzzle, but more of a just walk your way around the long way. Because this room thought it would be a grip. Oh, yeah, that's just a trick. You. You're supposed to go this way, and then here. And I don't remember there's there's nothing special over there. So let's just go around again, because I'm an idiot. You were in the way. Anything in here? No. Okay. Now again, I I want to try and conserve my mad Jick. Why does every room have a stupid wall master? Alright, at least I'm ready for this thing this time. Still gotta go around this again. Woo! You know what? Just to save... Oh, I didn't know that would count. If I used the hookshot, I could just go over it. Ugh. Well, at least I thought I had, and at least I'm still at full health. Alright, let's actually be ready for them this time. Alright, I'll kill one with a fire rod. But again, I'm trying to save Matt. Well, now it doesn't even matter. And let's get it before it disappears. Now we gotta light all these torches. Not something we haven't seen before. Again, quite a few of the puzzles really aren't anything new. Oh! Why did I miss so many times? I better get my magic back after that. <gasps> I hate wall masters! I didn't even have to stay in that room. Ugh, now I gotta do that stupid magic draining puzzle again with the torches. Well, at least I'm getting magic back. Alright, let's do it again. Alright, I don't have magic, that I don't have sword beams this time. Ugh, those stupid wall masters are really annoying in this game. Boom! Well now. Well, guess I'm not gonna be a full magic. Imagine how much magic this would use if I didn't get that magic upgrade. Now, I'm not gonna waste my time in here. There. That's what you have to do. And you know what? Of course. There's our key. Now let's get out of here. The boss is right down there. Uh, is there magic in one of these? Yep. Alright, let's fight the dungeon's boss. Mothula, a rather annoying fight. But the fire rod deals more damage than the Master Sword now, if only I could hit him. This is a hectic fight. 
I'm probably gonna end up using my blue potion here. I'm gonna use it. Because I'm also kind of low on health. There's no shame in using a potion here and there. Oh, invincibility. Great. Yeah, imagine how tough this boss would be with just a master sword, without sword beams, and uh, no potions. This is one of the more difficult fights. There. Kind of annoying, but hey, it's fun for what it is. Wow, well, almost 16 minutes. New record. <laughs> So yeah, pretty interesting dungeon. Nice concepts with the multiple entrances and such. The wall masters are a bit extreme though. <laughs> we rescue our third maiden. Link, because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. Do you know the prophecy of the great cataclysm? This is the way I heard it. If a person who has an evil heart gets the Triforce, a hero is destined to appear, and he alone must face the person who began the Great Cataclysm. If the evil one destroys the hero, nothing can save the world from his wicked reign. Only a person of the Knights of Hyrule who protected the royalty of Hylia can become the hero. You are of their bloodline, aren't you? Then you must rescue Zelda without fail! Do you understand? Yes. May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. I don't know why, but I always thought of trying to give that one a southern accent. It makes no sense, but that's just what I think. Don't judge me. Now, unless we're going to use the magic mirror and use the flute to get out of the Lost Woods, we got to go through part of the dungeon again. Hooray. I could just go into Light World now, but I want to save that for when I get to the village because the next dungeon is in the village and I want to be able to get there quickly without having to go through any of the woods again. Just to get to the portal. Okay, and I don't want to get hurt, so let's not get hurt. Yeah, you can do that. Okay, there we go. I'm afraid I can't really stall time in many ways other than get myself a blue potion because there is nothing else to do in between the third and fourth dungeons. You really just go in. Uh, let's get the magic mirror ready. There. Uh. uh. Okay, um, I'll use it here and let me guess. Saw that coming. All right, let's do it here. There. Uh, flute. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's get a potion. Okay, blue potion. I mean, I can't spend money on upgrades anymore, so if I'm gonna have to spend money now, the only reason is gonna be for potions. There's nothing else to buy in this game. Okay. And now, there we go. You pull this open, and the fourth dungeon is available. There's nothing else I could do. I'm just gonna have to end the video here. So, next time, unless play Legends of the Link to the Past, we'll go into the fourth Dark World dungeon. Ugh, until then, this has been Tails Fan 109. Have a nice day! <laughs>